Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial session on VLOOKUP and Pivot Tables. I am Swaminathan, one of the co-instructors of this BDM course. So for those of you who are familiar with concepts like VLOOKUP and Pivot Table, please feel free to skip this video. But I would recommend you to watch this video since this might give you a better intuitive understanding of these tools that is VLOOKUP and Pivot Table. So let me quickly show you the data which I created some 45 minutes back. So this is the data we have. We have registration numbers and name. So these names are very famous in the online degree program. I have taken the liberty of using some names. Uh, and then we have car, uh, the manufacturers like Maruti, Hyundai, Ford, and so on. Then we also have model. We have the city to which they are registered. And then we have price. And then in the next sheet, we have some other additional information, which is the age of the car, that is how old the car is and uh, what is the mileage that this car returns. And most of this data are cooked up, so none of them are real. So just enjoy the video and this is just for the explanation purpose. So first, let us ask some uh, interesting questions from this data. For example, I want to know how much did Mahesh pay for his car. So let me type down that question. How much did Mahesh pay for his car? So there are many ways to uh, get the answer for this. There are many ways to get the answer to this question, but we'll particularly use this VLOOKUP. So I'm going to type equal to here, VL. The moment I type VL, it is going to give me an auto suggestion for VLOOKUP. So I have two options, I can press tab or I could double click on VLOOKUP. And then the moment I give this expression equal to VLOOKUP open parenthesis, it is going to ask me for a lookup value. So now since I'm interested in knowing the price of Mahesh's car, let me select Mahesh. So the moment I select Mahesh, it is going to uh, say B10. B10 in the sense column B and 10th row. So column B and 10th row. After the lookup value, it is going to ask me for the table array. So I'm going to select the table. So I've selected the table. You might wonder why, why have I not selected the column A. So that's because VLOOKUP works in a particular way. The VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. It is going to look up in the first column. So since Mahesh is uh, being placed in column B, I'm selecting the table starting from column B and uh, I've selected the entire table because I want to know the price of Mahesh's car which is lying in the fifth column in the selected table. And next it is going to ask me for the column index number. Uh, so here the price of the car lies in the fifth column in the selected table. So as you see column B is number one, this is number two, three, four and five. And five. So the price is available in the fifth column of the table array. Next, it is going to ask for an approximate match or an exact match. So 90 to 95% of the time, you will be using the exact match. So you have two options. You can uh, type false or you can even use zero for false. False indicates exact match, right? So the moment you do this, it is going to show you the value of Mahesh's uh, car price. So let us round it out and change the format to currency. And whenever you do such automation, it is always good to do a spot check. For example, VLOOKUP says the price of Mahesh's car is 10,40,000. So why don't we go and check this out? It, it is again 10,40,000. So let us do this for another question. So what model does Ashwin have? So here we could use the same VLOOKUP expression, copy and paste and do some mo modifications. For example, the lookup array, the, the lookup value is not B14. So Ashwin is, the name Ashwin is available in B2. Right? So you can select B2 and then you are interested in the model that Ashwin is having. 
So this model is available in the third column of this table array. So instead of 5, let me give 3 here. It is going to throw me an error because the table array selection has gone out of range. So for this, it's always a good practice to do referencing. So first you select the table array and you press F4 in case you are using Windows. The moment you select F4, it is referenced. So the table array is not going to change whenever you copy and paste. So now let me copy and paste the same expression here. And here let me do the modifications. Instead of B14, let me do B2 here. And then instead of the fifth column, let me type column number 3. So this says that Ashwin is owning an S cross, right? So let us also check that. So Ashwin has an S cross, right? So these are some of the applications of VLOOKUP. We will also look at some advanced options. So there are places where VLOOKUP could throw an error. So one such error is this referencing error. So we saw how to deal with that. Whenever you use VLOOKUP, always try to do the referencing so that if you copy paste, the table array does not get changed. So now let us do some more calculations with VLOOKUP. Uh, so let me, uh, so here the primary key is registration number. So it's a, a hypothetical uh, car registration number which has IND 2001 to IND 2020. And in the next table, uh, you have uh, the registration number, age of the car and mileage of the car. Suppose you want that information in this particular sheet, uh, say basic. What you do is you create a new column, age of the car and then mileage. So now you do the VLOOKUP operation. So to find the age of the car, I will type VLOOKUP. So the moment I type VL, I'm going to get an auto suggestion for VLOOKUP. You can press tab or double click. Click on the lookup value. Go to the next sheet and select the table array. And then here, we want the second column since age of the car is available in the second column. And then we are also interested in the exact match. So now if you type, it is going to show age of the car is 6 for the registration number IND 2001. So here one thing I have not done is referencing. So whenever you want to copy paste uh, the VLOOKUP for multiple uh, cells, always reference it. So click on the table array, press F4, then press enter. And now if you drag this all the way it is going to return some value. So now if you see here, there is an error. So before that, let us do some spot checks. Uh, let us look at the uh, age of the car for Malolan. So it says 9 here. Let us go to the next sheet and check for age of the car. So since Malolan is not the primary key, we will have to check with the primary key, which is, which is uh, 2010, IND 2010. So IND 2010 here shows 9, right? So let us again verify that it is correctly showing 9. So let us do another spot check. Uh, we have Kodai here. So IND 2020, IND 2019 is uh, having a value of 4 in the age of the car column. So let us check for IND 2019. It says 4, right? So which means the VLOOKUP is working well, but uh, for IND 2020, we are not getting a result. There is some mistake in IND 2020. So let's check what the mistake is. So first, it is uh, taking up the correct lookup value, which is A21. So A21 is correct. And then the lookup array is also correct. It is between A2 to C21 and it is referenced. And then it is looking at the second column, which is also correct. And it is asking for an exact match that is false. So everything seems to be correct. So let us go to the uh, age underscore mileage and 
check what the problem is. If you double click here, there are some extra spaces. So this is called white space. Uh, so VLOOKUP, since we are using an exact match, VLOOKUP is going to throw an error in this case. So therefore, you have a couple of alternatives. Instead of an exact match, you could tell VLOOKUP that I am looking for an approximate match. So for that, you could type TRUE. In that case, you are going to get the correct value which is 6. But uh, I wouldn't recommend this uh, kind of operation. The better way is to remove the white space from IND 2020 and go to basic and instead of true, stick to the original way of writing which is 0, right. So now it is going to say 10. We could use the same logic, do another VLOOKUP for getting the mileage of the cars. So I am selecting the lookup value to be A2, then go to age underscore mileage, select the table array and then uh, as usual reference it with F4 and then I am looking at the third column of the table array and then I look for an exact match. So now it is going to show me 15 as the car mileage. Again couple of spot checks, let us do it for Lakshmi. Uh, so IND 2020, the mileage is 18 kilometers per liter which is correct. So let us do it somewhere in between. IND 2007, the mileage seems to be 11 and the age of the car seems to be 3. So 3 and 11 for 2007. So 2007, 3 and 11 seems to work fine. So this is how you do VLOOKUP and uh, it is very handy especially when you are automating, automating on a large chunk of data. It is going to save you a lot of time and uh, VLOOKUP is a mandatory skill that you require when you join industry. So with this let us move on to pivot tables. So I am using the same data to explain pivot table. First let me select the entire table and then I go to insert and then you have two options to do a pivot, pivot table. So one is you can directly click on this pivot table or you go to this setting where you have an option of selecting only a pivot chart. You could also select a pivot chart and pivot table. So let me do this pivot chart and pivot table. So I am going to show the pivot table in a new sheet. Therefore, I am going with a default setting and pressing OK. So now let us use some categorical variables to understand how grouping is done. So let me use variables like car. I am selecting it on the axis category. So you have three different uh, categories uh, namely Ford, Hyundai and Maruti. So next let me uh, drag and drop the price of these cars. So it is going to show me the sum but I am not interested in the sum. Let me show the average price of these cars. Let us also round it off. So let us first put it to a proper currency format. So the average price of a Ford car according to the pivot table is 7,11,200 and similarly Hyundai costs around 10,18,000 and Maruti is costing around 7.6 lakhs. So these are some of the insights you can find from pivot tables without uh, a lot of effort. So it's a good practice to always have data labels on the graphs. So this will give you a better idea of how the average price of each car looks like. And uh, let us play with some more uh, values. So to this categorical variable, let me add mileage. Again, I am not interested in some of the mileage. I am going to add average. I am going to use the average uh, setting here. So average shouldn't be a currency format, shouldn't be in currency format, it should be a number. So typically Hyundai is returning the highest mileage followed by Maruti and Ford, right? So you could also see that here and since the scales are different, you are not able to see the chart here. You are not able to see the mileage in the chart here. So therefore, let me delete this chart. So let us see some more things here. Uh, I could add a filter here. So let me add the city as a filter here. 
So we will also add the number of cars that are available under each uh, car company. So let us add registration number and here count is the best thing to have. Uh, so let us change the format to a number, right? Let us round it off. So in total, there are 20 cars out of which five are Ford cars and six are Hyundai cars and nine are Maruti cars. And generally, the average mileage of Maruti is 14.89. And you could also play with the filters. For example, if you select Chennai, totally there are three cars pertaining to this data set and out of which one is Ford, one is Hyundai and one is Maruti. So these are some of the useful applications of tools like Pivot Table and VLOOKUP. So there are a lot more, but these are sufficient for you people to progress in this course and with time you will be better and better with such uh, tools in Excel. I wish you all the best and see you in the next tutorial.